This exhibition is a survey of the work by Argentinian artist Analia Saban. Um, the work asks very specific questions like what is a painting, a, phot a photograph, a sculpture or a drawing? What are the material, the conceptual and the social conditions that inform a medium? And moreover, what are the physical, psychological and political impacts um, of these mediums and conditions of these mediums. So the show begins with um, the painting ball, which was a major work I did. Uh, this was in 2005. It was my last, uh, like my thesis project at my master's uh, at UCLA. And um, mainly in that case, I was really looking at painting and, and all my painters friends around me in school and then this was the inspiration it was like why why are they painting what is painting why are they painting on canvas why are they painting on panel and so on what is a canvas why why do we do this i mean as people i mean why do we paint and why do, does a painting become so important in the world and we keep looking at them and, and I started asking myself all these questions and then I realized that the painting um, had all these questions that don't have an answer basically and, and, and then that opened up a whole body of work which was about asking questions. So there are about 25 works in this exhibition spanning you know from 2005 to 2016 to to this year that uh, really show the progress that she has made over the years and the different approaches that she has taken so whether it is starting with this gesture of unraveling painting or then putting paints and inks and the kinds of things that we you know create images with in a two-dimensional way in a traditional fashion put a test sort of really testing their material capacities to what extent can they be pushed uh, to the point where they become something other than themselves or um, where they transform into you know where they take on a different character that is outside of their materiality so you will see work in this exhibition like striped towel or fitted bedsheet where she cast acrylic into these viscerally affecting um, replicas of household objects like a towel or a bedsheet to see to what extent paint can be paint but also be can come something else that still reads like a painting because it attached to canvas and yet it's this object so she's constantly negotiating this fine line between between material and object and between when a material like paint become an object and where that reading begins and ends and there are many other examples where she uses or mines you know a photograph or um, other objects like a sink and scrapes off the emulsion of the photograph or scrapes off the porcelain that covers the sink and uses that as a or, or employs that as paint with which to create an image on a canvas sort of again sort of like trying to sort of stretch the limits of how we think about what paint can be what paint can do and to what extent the boundaries between what is paint and what is not, what is a painting, what is a sculpture are completely blurred. Maybe a message for, I mean, especially in a university environment, is really to think of, to not take anything for granted. No materials that are available in the art store should be taken for granted and to really explore the possibilities because once you go to a deeper level and you start from scratch, you can have so much more control on things. And there are no rules. I mean, if you want to paint on canvas, paint on canvas. If you want to paint on glass, paint on glass. If you want to paint on, I don't know, like on a, on a, on a tire from a car or whatever, it's just paint, or, or, or if you don't want to paint, don't paint. I mean, to really do whatever you want to do without any rules. I mean, I feel like this is a very important reminder and, um, when I was an art student, there were many rules given to me, and I think it's important to question those rules and to really you know, connect to, to, to your own voice and go from there.